All right, folks, Pitching Games 88, and we are back playing Rollers of the Realm. Thank you guys all for watching. Uh, I will do these playlists as much as possible. Make sure to pull them on autoplay because, again, each video is going to be probably around five minutes or less. Just kind of showing you guys each and every little section of this. Uh, we're coming on to the town's basically big boss battle, and that is the Blacksmith. What are you after now, old man? You drank my town dry already. Stand aside, cur, or I'll blacken your tarnish. All right, don't get you jerking in a knot. I beg your pardon, milady. You have my dog, and I would like him back, if you please. Your dog? You mean my supper? <laughs> I'll feed you my boots instead! Oh, you can try, little one. And I'll send you all to meet the witch. Alright, so the strategy for this one is going to be to unlock the dog and then use the dog on the blacksmith. So, as you can see, the blacksmith really doesn't take that much damage from the knight. So, you get rid of the dog though, and oh my goodness, the dog basically gets him all worried and stuff. The blacksmith's afraid of the mutt. Get him back in the fight. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it, okay? So essentially, you don't actually even want... You don't even want the knight in this, really. Okay, so... Oh, brother. Alright, we're gonna need to get mana. So basically try and get as much man as you can to revive her. Oh dear! I'm done. I beat I lost. That's a okay. So Unfortunately this is gonna take four. I have flippers. Sweet. So usually this doesn't go this poorly, but um, you can take him out. Whoever wants it, I'll heal you, dogs. But what you want to do is you want to keep the dog basically as much as possible. Taste my steel. You can't hurt me. But the great thing about this guy is. Whoever wants it, I'll come in. Ooh, man of charm. Oh, wow. Agility. Nice. So this is actually going to show you guys a little bit more about it. It's like little power-ups you can get just because uh, usually, again... Let's see. Let's see if we can get that blue power. Yeah, the mana charm. Let's see. So, again, usually it's not this way. Usually if you have the dog, you can get rid of this the blacksmith a lot quicker. Um, okay, here we go. Now we can revive. Which is actually really nice. Not gonna let them go out just yet. We're gonna wait. Right, now we only have the healer. Okay, so... Rise, my friend. Boy. There we go, second boy. Nice. Too quick for you. There we go. Now you'll see. Now you see him really get kind of taken out. Nice thousand, baby. Yeah. You all right, boy? Hey, mm. yeah, we saved a dog. We should move on. The blacksmith is brother to the local baron. He's sure to dispatch his militia to keep a firm grip on the town. If it's the Baron we've crossed, where would we go? I wouldn't know. The battlefield was my home. I know of an outlaw camp where all sorts take refuge. Is a knight prepared to join the outlaw ranks? Have I not already? Mm. Touche. So you should leave town. Go to the realm map to travel to new areas. So now that the realm is done, we can actually go to different areas. Now the one that's the only one that's really unlocked is the woods. Uh, just due to the fact that the port is where you can buy stuff. 
So what I'm actually going to do, guys, is I'm going to be playing the blacksmith uh, quite a bit because you can actually gain like 6,000 gold from this. Or 1,000 gold from this, whereas everything else, eh, you could, I could probably do the main square and probably gain a little bit more gold. So I'm just going to grab a couple more gold because I do want to actually go to the port in the next one. Um, I want to buy one of these hired hands, and I also want to kind of upgrade some of our guys. So I'll be showing you guys all of that after I gain a little bit more gold. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.